Welcome to the Blender Goon. In this video, we are going to enable some add-ons and set up viewport and render settings. Let's start by enabling some add-ons. So go up to Edit uh, and down to Preferences and click on the Add-on tab. And the first one we're going to add is Node Wrangler. So search Node and we'll just turn that on. The next one will be Loop Tools. So we can search Loop and turn on loop tools. The next will be bool tools, so B-O-O-L. Oop, not with a K. The next will be tiny CAD, so search tiny. And turn it on. We also want modifier tools, so modifier and turn that one on. We also want F2, so F2. And turn it on. We're going to do extra. And you can turn on uh, all of these. So we'll just turn all of those on. We also want beef surfaces. So uh, mesh beef surfaces, G GPL edition. We can turn it on. And the last one is images to planes. So uh, import export images to planes so we've enabled these add-ons what do they do and where do we find them so to find them if you click the little drop down each one has a location so file import images of planes so if you go to file by the way file import things are not working for me <laughs> there should be an images as planes down here so we can bring an image in as a plane and into our scene. Um, the other add-ons like um, extra lights or let's do extra objects. So extra objects, if you look at location, it's a uh, viewport 3D add curves extra objects. So that's add curve and you get all those extra objects. Let's do that again. And you get all those extra objects. So that's how you find them. And some of them will be in these menus, some of them will be in right click menus. Um, and depending on which mode you're in, some of them will be in your end panel. So if you hit in, you can see your end panel over here and they'll be on this little sidebar here. So we're done with uh, the preference window. So we can go ahead and uh, let's go down here and make sure we have auto save preferences on. It is, but we'll just save preferences anyway. And we can close that. Now we're going to change some viewport settings. Um, first thing we can do is we can delete the camera. Uh, so you can select the camera with left click and hit X and just delete it and the light also because we're going to set up some lighting and hit X and delete that also. Uh, up here at the top where the four little circles are, this is our viewport shading. We can hit the little drop down and we are going to change this to matte cap and I'm going to choose this one here because I like it. Um, this stuff I picked up from the Arts and Vol video that was in the first uh, description. So we're also going to turn on cavity, change the screen type to both, and per arts and evolve settings, we're going to change all these to two. So two, two, and two, and that gives us a nice border outline here. We also need to go here to our overlays and hit the little drop down and we are going to turn face orientation on. So the next thing I want to set up is our render settings for uh, our baking for Second Life and stuff. So if you go over to the right to our, our tools panel, is that what that's called? Properties panel. And uh, hit the first little microwave looking thing. And we're going to change the render engine to cycles. We're also going to change the device from CPU to GPU compute. Under viewport, we're going to change this to like 256 would be good probably. Probably don't even need to be that much. But the viewport is what you're seeing when you're in rendered mode. And we'll, you'll get into that later. Um, the rendering is what you bake at. And we're going to bake at 300. So we're good with this stuff. Next thing we're going to do is set up some lighting. That way we always have lighting in our scene. And 
I have a whole HDRI file in my Discord helpful stuff channel. So if you go to the YouTube description, you can find a link to my Discord. And once you join it, uh, you can go in here and scroll down and you'll find a helpful stuff. If you go to helpful stuff, I have Goon's HDRI file on my Google Drive and it's got a whole bunch of them. There's like 80 some HDRIs in this file. So if you can get that downloaded, I will show you how to set that up in Blender. So to set up lighting with that file, there is another add-on, and I don't know if it's built into Blender or not, but if you go to Edit and Preferences and go back to Add-ons and search Easy, there's an Easy HDRI uh, add-on. If you turn it on, uh, you can close this, and then if you hit N uh, for November, let me turn this on, N, um, you can go to Easy HDRI here and find the folder which is and it'll load those up and then you can create world nodes and if you select this box it'll load them all and for the video I'm going to be using this Hamburg one so you can click that and then if you change your render settings up here at the top to the last last one you can see the uh, HDRI in the background and it lights up your object if this is not, if you're not able to install this, we're going to do it the other way. <laughs> so. Um, on our render tab, <clears throat> if you can't get easy HDRI, you can do it a different way. And that way is to go to your properties panel and go to the world node here or world tab. And then under color, you can click the little yellow dot and go to environment texture. And then where it says open, you can open and find your file. There it is. The Hamburg uh, HBF 1K HDR. So we'll select that and open image. And that pops it right in there for you. And then you can change the settings here like strength and stuff if you want to, if it's too bright or not bright enough. But that's the one we'll be using. If you don't want to come in on rendered mode, um, I would suggest going back to solid view here in the viewport shading stuff. Go back to solid. One last thing before we save our uh, startup file is down on the bottom right here, uh, you'll see 4.02 if you're in this version. If you right click it, you can turn on scene statistics and it's really nice to have that down here. Once you have that done, we can go up to file, defaults, and save our startup file, and then save startup file again. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Join me in the next one where we explore the UI.